off here today. No doubt about it. That was right at about 20 feet. Come to life now. Oh, nice trout. Daddy, look at that big rainbow. Right there, Trigger Spoon Jr. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's a stud right there. What a beautiful. Trigger Spoons, Trigger Spoon Magnum, Trigger Spoon Pros, Trigger Spoon Juniors, Speed Spoons, Speed Spoon Pros. Looking for spoons for your trout fishing adventure? Think FHS Spoons. You can check them out at fishhuntshoot.com. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Lucy and I are out for a hike and uh, it's kind of an opening here. We were actually looking for a, kind of scouting around a little bit for maybe a spot to hunt some spring turkeys. So, and uh, maybe I found it. It's kind of a nice open area up here on a hillside. But anyway, seemed like a good spot to stop and uh, fire up the camera. And I'm going handheld here if it looks a little, a little shaky. So, what I wanted to talk about today was kind of an introduction to systematic trout trolling. And uh, kind of what, what, initiated this video is I get a lot of questions from guys that ask me, you know, what lure should I use or what depth should I fish? And it's just not that simple. And I think there's a lot of guys out there and I actually talked to them, veteran guys out there that they'll go out and they'll pretty much fish the same depth all day and they'll fish the same lures all day. And you know, some days they catch fish, some days they really struggle and it's because they're really kind of a one dimensional angler. And uh, when you go out trout fishing, you need a strategy. You need a systematic strategy for catching fish at any lake. And in future videos, we'll talk about things like colors and stuff like that. But this is how I assess any lake I get to. I look at the surface temperature. Key surface temperature for me is 65 degrees. If the surface temperature is above 65 degrees, I figure that the beginning of my, my fishing you know, window is where the water is 65 degrees. Now, when I'm at Shasta in the summer and the water temperature is 75 or 80 degrees on top, obviously, I'm gonna be using the downrigger. I'm gonna be fishing pretty deep to get down into that comfort zone. But in the spring, in the winter, in the fall, I'm gonna have water that's 65 or less right on top. And when I see that, I know there's gonna be rainbow trout up top at some point during the day, certainly early in the day and late in the day. And anytime there's chop on the water, there's gonna be trout up very near to the surface. When there's chop on the top of the water in the midday, that's a great time to target rainbows right under the surface, lures running a foot deep. So remember that, 65 degrees, that's the upper end of a rainbow trout, it's kind of the, really their comfort range. Um, optimum is 56 degrees, but if I hit the lake and the water temperature is 65 on top, I'll pretty much work the top 25 feet of the water column. There may be fish deeper, but I can tell you the most active fish, the fish that are most likely to chase, they're the ones that are highest in the water column. So 65 or less on the surface, I'm working the top of the water column, okay? I start off fast and I have three speed ranges and they break down like this. Fast is 2.7 to four to maybe a little over four miles an hour. Medium speed, two miles an hour up to about 2.6 and slow is anywhere from you know one to 1.8 to two miles an hour pretty much. But 1.8 is a, is a good slow speed for me, 1.5 you know, stuff like that. So those are kind of the, the fast, medium, and slow speed range for me. I'll start out fast and aggressive with fairly large lures, usually my speed spoons, sometimes my trigger spoons, but I'll start off, you know, trolling briskly and uh, I'll work for a while and I'll watch the sonar, see if I'm marking fish and just kind of take the temperature of those fish. Are they willing to chase? Am I getting hit? If not, that's when I start to slow down, okay? I'll go from the speed spoons to the trigger spoons. You might go from speedy shiners to needlefish, something like that. Now we're in that two mile an hour, 2.5 mile an hour speed range. And again, we're gonna watch those marks. We're gonna assess what's happening. If we find a, 
a place that's holding fish, we're gonna work those fish because you know we know there's fish there. If that still doesn't work, I start downsizing my lures and I drop the speed even more. And you've seen me do it here on the channel a bunch of times. If it's really tough, my last ditch effort, my last ditch bait is either a grub or a threaded worm either naked or with some sort of small blade. So that's my systematic approach to trolling. And I might bounce from one category to another throughout the day, depending on how the conditions are changing and depending on how the temperament of the fish are changing. But remember, when you go to a lake, the key thing to remember is have a systematic approach in mind, start off aggressive, and then, you know, scale back your approach to match the temperament of the fish and be ready for the temperament of the fish to change throughout the day. And uh, that's gonna put you a long way down the road to consistent success. We'll be back with more information like this, you know. Um, we'll talk about colors, we'll talk about sizes, we'll talk about confidence because everything comes back to confidence. But for now, just think about that. Have a systematic approach in mind that takes you from aggressive to passive, from fast to slow, from large to small, to natural bait if necessary. And uh, more often than not, you're gonna be yelling fish on when you hit your favorite lake or even a lake where you've never been. It works everywhere, guys. You see me prove it here on the channel almost every day. I'm Kel Kellogg, I'm signing off for now. If you are looking for trout gear, you know where to go, fish hunt shoot. Dot com. What a beautiful day here in the foothills, man. We had rain last night and it is bright blue and just totally awesome. Anyway, I'm signing off. You have a great day and I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks for all the support. I'm Kel Kellogg and my hybrid lead core system has brought lead core trolling back into the spotlight for trout and salmon anglers all over the country. If you'd like the world's best lead core trolling rod, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and pick up one of my iconic bright yellow lead core rods today. You won't regret it because you'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. <laughs>